in these questions, we are being asked without using a calculator to work out a percentage of an amount. The first question asks for 50% of 300. 50% means 50 hundredths, so a percentage is the same as a fraction out of 100. So we want 50 hundredths of 300 and 50 hundredths is the same as one half. So whenever we're asked for 50%, that's the same as asking for half. So we want half of 300. So 300 divided by two, which is 150. Question two asks us for 10% of 300. So 10%, again, that's 10 hundredths. And this simplifies because they're both in the 10 times table to one tenth. So whenever we're asked to find 10%, we want one tenth of that amount. And to find that, we divide by 10. So to find 10%, we divide by 10, so 300 divided by 10 is 30. Question 3, 1% of 300, so 1% is the same as 1 hundredth. And to find a hundredth, we divide by 100. So it's 300 divided by 100, which is Three. Question four asks us for 20%. Now we've already worked out what 10% is. So to find 20%, we can just double 10%. So 10% is 30. So if we double 10%, we get 20%. And question five. 25% of 300. To find 25%, we can half 50%. So 25% is half of 50%. So that's 150 halved divided by 2, which is 75. Okay, five questions for you to try. So give these a go. Question one, we're finding 50%. To find 50%, we divide by two. So 5,000 divided by two is 2,500. Question two, we're finding 10%. To find 10%, we divide by 10. 5,000 divided by 10 is 500. Question three, 1%. To find 1%, we divide by 100. 5,000 divided by 100 is 50. Question four, we want 20%. So we can double 10%. So 10% is 500. So double 500 is 1,000. And question five, to find 25%, we can half 50%. So half of 2,500, half of 2,000 is 1,000, half of 500 is 250. So we've got 1,250. Here we've got a different set of questions. So again, without using a calculator, we're going to work out percentages of an amount. The first question, 50% of 80 grams. To find 50%, we divide by 2. It's the same as a half. So half of 80 is 40. So half of 80 grams is 40 grams. Question 2, 10%. To find 10%, we divide by 10. 10% is the same as one tenth. And 80 grams divided by 10 is 8 grams. Question 3. 
we want 1%, so 1 hundredth of 80. So 80 divided by 100, and that is the same as 8 tenths or 0 0.8 grams. Question 4 is asking us for 60%. And we've already worked out 50% and 10%. So we can get 60% by adding 50% and 10% together. So if we take 40, which is 50%, plus 8, which is 10%, we get 48. And question 5, 9%. And we've worked out 10%. And 1%, so to find 9%, we can do 10%, take away 1%, which is 8, take away 0 0.8, and 8, take away 0 0.8, is 7.2. So 9% of 80 grams is 7.2 grams. So five different questions for you to try, so give these a go. Question 1, 50% of 60 pounds. To find 50%, we half. 50% is the same as half. So half of 60 is 30. Question 2, we're finding 10%. 10% is the same as a tenth. A tenth of 60 is 6. Question 3, 5%. Well, 5% is half of 10%. So half of 6 is 3. And 15% for question 4. That's 10% plus 5%. We can get 15% by adding 10% to 5%. So 6 plus 3 is 9 you could have also said three times 5%. And question five, 40%, which we can get from doing 50% take away 10%, which is 30 take away six, which is 24 pounds. This question says, without using a calculator, work out 62% of 48 pounds. So we can work out any percentage using combinations of 50%, 10% and 1%. So to find 62%, so I can say 62% can be found with 50% plus 10% which makes 60% plus two 1%. So let's work out each of these bits individually and then add them together. So 50% will be half of 48. To find 50%, we divide by two. So 50% will be 24 pounds. To find 10%, we divide by 10. So 10% is the same as a tenth, divide by 10. 48 divided by 10 is 4.8, or because it's money, that will be four pounds 80. And 1% is, to find 1%, we divide by 100. 1% is the same as one hundredth. So 48 divided by 100, so 48 hundredths is 0 0.48, or in money, that's 48p. So let's double 1% to find 2%. So 2% will be 2 48ps, and 2 48ps will be 96p. So if we add up 50% plus 10% plus 
plus 2%, we can find 62%. So we've got £24 plus £4.80 plus 96p. Let's add them up. So we've got 6 in the hundredths. 8 plus 9 is 17. So carry one over. 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9. And we've only got 2 in the tens. So we have the 62% of £48. We've got £29.76. Okay, we've got one of these for you to try. I think this one's slightly easier. So 35% of £82. So to find 35%, we can use combinations of 10% or well, we could have, we you could do a lot of different things. So you could have 10% three times plus a 5% or we could half a 50% to get a 25% and then add on a 10%, which might be the easiest one. We could have found 5% and multiplied by 7. There's an endless number of ways to do it, really. But um, if we find 50%, which is half, so half of 82 is £41. And then half that to get 25%. So half of £41. Half of £40 is £20. Half of one pound is 50p, so that's 20 pounds 50. And we also need a 10%, which is the same as dividing by 10. So 82 over 10 is eight pounds 20. So if we add up 25% and 10%, That's £28 and 70p. Okay, now we're going to look at finding a percentage with a calculator. So there are different options of how we can do this. We can either convert the percentage to a decimal or a fraction before we work it out, or we could use the percentage button on the calculator. I'll show you each of these. And the key thing to know really is that when we move on of, we can change that to a multiplication. So it's 62% times 95, or 62% of a decimal or a fraction times 95. So let's grab a calculator. So if we're using a percentage button, you have to find it on your calculator. Your calculator will probably be different to mine. It will be one of the shift buttons. So in usually in a yellow color. So 62% times 95, 62, and then shift my percentage buttons here. So 62% times 95. And we've got an answer as a fraction. If I press the S to D button, I can get a decimal. And so that is 58.9. So this is 58.9. So that's using the percentage button. We could also do it as a fraction. So 62% as a fraction. We can say is 62 over 100. So a percentage is a fraction out of 100. So 62%, 62 hundredths times 95. And you'll see you also get 58.9. Or we could also write it as a decimal. And 62% as a decimal is 0 0.62. 62 divided by 100. So 0 0.62 
times 95. And again, you'll get the same answer, 58.9. So it doesn't matter which of those you use, each of them will get you the same answer. So let's do question two, 31% of 360. So I'm typing 0 0.31 times 360. And it's a decimal is 111.6. For the next one, I'm going to type 119 and then the percentage button times 68. And that's 80.92. And for the last one, I may as well do this one differently. So 84 hundredths times 156. And that's 131.04. Okay, four for you to try here. So give these ones a go now, and then press play when you're ready for the answers. So question one, 57% of, so times 315 is 179.55. Question two, 24% of, so times 72 is 17.28. Question three, 93% of, so 93% times 180 is 167.4. And question four, 125% of 96 is 120. And to finish up, we've just got two questions here. So question one without a calculator, question two with a calculator, and give them a go. Question one without using a calculator, work out 21% of 420. So we can say that 10% of 420 will be 420 divided by 10, which will be 42. And 1% will be 420 divided by 100, which will be four pounds 20. So we're gonna have two 10% plus a 1%, and that will make 21%. So 20% is two 42s, which is 84. And then we want 84 plus four pounds 20, which will be 88 pounds 20. Question two, using a calculator workout, 64% of 1,250 grams. So 64% times so of means times 1250 and that is 800 so we've got 800 grams <laughs>